All right, guys, Kyger here, and today we're going to talk all about runes, what to keep, what to junk, and what's going to give you the most CP. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, before we look at the actual runes, I want to tell you how you're missing out on some gold. So if we go to runes, and let's say I want to junk this rune right here, right? Disassemble, it'll give me 70 of those uh, stones. I have thousands of them. I don't need them. So what I can do is come to General Merchant, anyone, runes, uh, pick whatever rune I want, and you see I can sell it for gold. Not always going to be legendaries, but I'm going to tell you which ones you should be selling as we get into it. So when we jump into runes, you have a couple things you got to watch out for. You want to make sure you're putting runes on champions that need it. For example, if we take something like Konamiya, uh, his heal is based off of his HP, so you want to give him a bunch of HP, right? So giving him things like energy set for HP set bonuses are going to be very, very important. Then we have things like Sekhmet, where her main thing, she does damage, but her main thing is to land uh, that strip, right? So the focus set is actually pretty decent on her. I wouldn't use more than one set of focus set on her, but having one in there can be very, very powerful. As you see, you're able to get up to 100% accuracy and make sure you're landing those debuffs. If we take something like Naomi, for example, uh, everyone's going to be using uh, Rage and Blade sets to hit high crit, high crit damage. But with something like Naomi, what I have on her right now is just what I was using f to hit some numbers for Expedition. But what you really want to look at for her is anywhere in the 40 to 60% range for a crit rate. And why that is, is her passive increases her crit rate based off of debuffs. If I'm doing something like World Boss, I bring it down to 20% and then jack up the uh, crit damage and everything else because uh, on something like World Boss where there's several people, they're all going to have debuffs on it and she's going to have effectively 100% crit rate. You have things like Karambit, who his main thing is attack speed. So giving him attack speed, crit rate, crit damage, and evasion is something he's really, really going to want. Then we have things like Teor, who's actually super hard to rune because he kind of wants everything. He want, He's a tanky character, so he wants HP to be in your face. But his damage is based off of attack and defense, so he kind of wants everything. And even his, uh, he also kind of wants attack speed because his basics frostbite, right? And then he obviously wants crit rate, crit damage like everyone else. And I mean, he really kind of wants everything, which makes the runing requirement on some monsters astronomical. Then we're going to talk about actual runes itself. So in slot two, I like to look for obviously percentage stats if I'm able to, or something like this is a perfect rune right here, attack speed. Uh, but only on characters that their S1s matter, like Teor or Karambit or Cassie, things like that. Everyone else, you want to get HP, maybe attack. Attack's not really that great. Uh, and then on set four, you really want crit rate or crit damage as the main stat. And you always want to be looking at these substats. Now, I got the question, what are these four? So if we take a look, A, B, C, A and then one, 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 one. So what this means is that's their letter grade. So take the top one. It is a grade, it's attack percent. So it's, I mean, a flat attack, so it's not a great stat. But if anything, uh, if a lit five-star legendary rune rolls flat attack, it is in the A range of that stat. So if it was, I think 29 is the max here, then it would be S. Um, it's not great for most. And how you decide if it's great is a perfect monster. A lot of people talk about if they're three stars, they really want flat stats. It's a half truth. It is mostly true, but there are exceptions. So if we take a look at Konamiya right here, his attack, defense, HP. Uh, the general rule of thumb is if they're under, I think it's 1,020 uh, attack or defense then they need um, flat stats over percent stats. 
If we look at Konamiya, that is totally true. Uh, use that white number minus the blue number, it's under 1,000. So he would prefer flat attack or defense. But if we take a look at HP, which I think is, uh, I think the number is 10,400-ish. If you look at his number, he would actually prefer percent HP. And his main thing he wants is HP for his heal. So if you take a look... You really want to look at the three star before you just throw flat stats. As I said, his attack and defense do follow that trend, but his HP does not. So that's really what you're looking for. Uh, and then the numbers next to them are the number of rolls on it. So if we take a look at rarities right here, N and M um, start with no stats. Blue, sorry, start with one stat. Uh, blue starts with two stats. Uh, H heroic starts with three stats legendary starts with four stats as we see right here four stats and then when you bring it up to uh, plus three plus uh, six plus nine plus twelve plus fifteen it does a roll so when it rolls there so let's say if it hits that attack a one attack then the attack number will go up and we'll say a two and then in slot six you're really looking for the same kind of things you're looking for in slot one uh, this is also the one where you can get accuracy and resistance. These are good stats, but they are, it's a trap to pick them as, uh, primary stats. These are good, good stats that you do want, but they're not ones that you really want as a primary. Now let's talk about individual types, right? So most, as I said, a lot of people are doing something like Rage and Blade. And why that is, is Rage is a 4-set bonus for crit damage, and uh, Blade is a 2-set bonus for crit rate. They're really the yin, yin and yang. They really fall uh, in line of what they're trying to do. But like I said, you really want to pick the character for what they're doing. What I like is let's take something like the Energy Rune, what I like to do is double up on the stat. So this is, the set is for HP, so I like to make sure there's HP on the rune. As you see, 6.2% right there. Um, this one didn't uh, roll great. Uh, I'm using it just to hit numbers for an expedition on her. Oh, slot 6. Uh, see, HP, HP, HP. You really want HP on your HP runes. Same goes for all of them. So on your blade rune, if you get a slot, uh, a best in slot would be something like a uh, slot to uh, crit rate percent primary stat or crit damage percent substat. Because remember, you're matching uh, rage and blade. So do you know, the yin and yang. If you can match up then it's really, really powerful. You max out a 100% crit rate, you don't max out a 100% crit damage that can go way higher. Uh, something like uh, Swift, obviously, uh, you want that slot to attack speed to really push you over the top. On my Discord, I have the breakpoints of attack speeds you want. Uh, I believe it's two, two, well, it's anywhere between 220 and 230. We believe it's 225 is one and a half attacks per second and then somewhere in the same kind of range 265 is two full attacks per second so those are some breakpoints that you're going to want to look for when you do things like a swift uh, set so like on a karambit a swift blade is a very very powerful set because the basic does a bunch and the blade helps you crit to allow you to do a bunch of damage on those basic attacks I really hope that helped you all out with deciding what kind of runes to go where and what to junk and actually make gold off of your extra runes instead of just holding them and hoarding them. Till next time, guys.